keyframing. What is it? And how do you use it? Not only will we talk about keyframing, but I'm going to show you how to keyframe using Adobe Premiere. Let's go. Okay, lights, camera, and action. So before we get started, as always, all the gear that I use will be available in the links below. And if you choose to purchase from those links, it will help support this YouTube channel. And if you haven't yet, remember to hit the like button and subscribe so you get more videos just like this one. So let's talk about keyframing. First, what is it? Keyframing is essentially a form of animation. You're manipulating an object or an object in your footage or maybe even the footage itself frame by frame. And keyframing can be used to create an artificial zoom. Whoa. Or a pan. Okay or maybe even adding a lower third. Look out. I mean, you can even use it to animate a fist flying into your shot. Wait, what? Oh. So now that you know what keyframing is and how you can use it, it's time to open up my weapon of choice when it comes to video editing, Adobe Premiere. And keep in mind, keyframing is not something that is only useful in Adobe Premiere. You can use keyframing in After Effects and even Final Cut. All right, guys, I already have Adobe Premiere open and I already have a project set up. So the first thing I'm gonna wanna do is make sure that my effects tab up here is selected. And I'm gonna grab two clips. I'm gonna drag them to my timeline. Great. Um, so the bottom layer is this white background and the top layer is this arrow. So I'm gonna shrink this arrow down so that it is visible. But before I do that, I'm gonna select it. Now you gotta make sure that the effects tab over here is open and then you can see the motion and the opacity and some time remapping. So I'm gonna shrink this down so that it's more visible. Great. So now um, I'm gonna to want to move this from the left of the screen to the right of the screen. And to do that, we need to create keyframes. So to do that, I'm gonna select the stopwatch for position and it created a little keyframe. And this is representative of your timeline. So I'm gonna move this all the way to the left. But I want that to happen in the beginning of my clip. So I need to move this keyframe to the beginning of the clip. Next, I'm gonna have it go all the way to the right. And I also want this to end at the end of the clip. So, or exit at the end of the clip. So now I'm gonna click play and you'll see it move all the way to the right. Excellent. So let's say you want this to move a little bit quicker. It's easy. All you got to do is move the last keyframe where it exits closer to the first keyframe. So now it moves quicker. Anywhere you see a stopwatch, a keyframe can be created. So let's say you want to also alter the rotation of the object, right? So just for the sake of slowing it down, I'm going to move this back to the end of the clip. I'm going to go to the rotation. I'm going to click the stopwatch and I'm going to have it start at zero. I'm going to have that be the beginning. And then as it gets towards the end, I'm going to have it rotate back this way. And I created another keyframe. I'm going to move this to the end of the clip. And now as it moves, it is spinning. So you can imagine that you're throwing like a ninja star or something with something like this. And one step further, we're gonna also have this disappear as it exits the frame. Um, that's, we're gonna do it by adjusting the opacity. The first thing we're gonna do is click the stopwatch on the opacity. I'm gonna move that to the beginning of the clip. So I'm moving that to the front of the timeline. I'm gonna click this dot right here, which creates another keyframe at 100. I'm gonna move it over just a little bit, and then I'm gonna phase this out to zero and then I'm gonna move this keyframe to the end. And then you'll see as it exits, it slowly fades away. And so that you can get a better idea of what that looks like when it's closer in here. I'm just gonna move this over and move this over here, we have it here. And now you'll see that as it's spinning out and it slowly starts to fade away. So you can do this with pretty much anything. You can add a photograph in here. You can create a slideshow with this. I mean, the possibilities of key with keyframing is it's pretty much endless. All right, and that is it for this tutorial. Hopefully you guys found it helpful. And if you know somebody who may benefit from this video, share it with them. Is there anything specific that you guys are looking for tutorial wise? Drop a comment below and let me know. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.